accurate forecast. Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. The official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. After a rainy Monday, it was nice to see the sunshine returning to the region for our Tuesday. So overall, it's been a beautiful day filled with plenty of sunshine, dry conditions. As we get into this evening, we will continue to see the dry weather, which will even last into a bit of our Wednesday. Temperatures across the region ranging from the 60s to 70. 74 here in Clarksburg, also in Weston and Allenboro. 73 in Fairmont. 72 in Morgantown and Grafton. 70 in Filthy and Elkins. 62 in Davis. And as we get a look ahead at rain for the rest of this week, we'll see a dry start to our Wednesday. We're seeing a little bit of sunshine before we do see the chance for some showers. As we get into the evening and overnight hours, and that'll carry over into our Sunday, or even, or should I say, Thursday. I'm jumping ahead and want to get to the weekend. <laughs> we'll see the chance for some thunderstorms in the mix for our Thursday, drying things up for our Friday, and then once we get into the weekend, seeing the chance for an isolated shower for Saturday evening and then for Sunday, seeing the chance for some of those scattered showers and storms which will last into the start of next week. But for the rest of tonight, seeing our temperatures hanging around the 50s, 53 expected here in Clarksburg, seeing a few clouds hanging around, otherwise staying pretty dry for our Tuesday evening. So why do you look at radar showing high pressure moving closer to the state, keeping things pretty nice across the region, and that'll last into our Wednesday before we do see a little bit more cloud cover moving into the region. So if it's showing for the rest of tonight, remaining dry, just a few clouds passing through, but once we get into our Wednesday, we'll see the chance for some piece of sunshine before more of those clouds build into the area. And once we get into the overnight hours, seeing the chance for some of those showers passing through, and that'll carry over into our Thursday. Like I said, we could see a thunderstorm or two in the mix before we do dry things up as we get into the end of the work week. But for tonight, temperatures hanging around the 50s, 53 expected here in Clarksburg, also in Vermont, Morgantown, Grafton, and Philly, 48 in Buchanan, 46 in Elkins, and 49 in Davis. And for tomorrow, temperatures hanging around the upper 70s, so 78 expected here in Clarksburg. Seeing some sunshine to start off the day before more clouds build into the region, then we'll watch out for some of those showers as we get into the evening and overnight hours. The rest of our seven-day forecast, 68 for our Thursday, so a little bit cooler, watching out for those showers and storms. Bit of a cool night as well with temperatures just below 50 degrees. 73 for our Friday, plenty of sunshine, dry conditions to wrap up the work week and mostly get into the weekend. Temperatures hanging around the upper 70s, so Saturday seeing sunshine to start off the weekend along with dry conditions before we do see the chance for an isolated shower. As we get into the later half of the day, hanging on to more chances for some scattered showers and storms for Sunday, and that'll last into the start of next week. So temperatures remain in the upper 70s for Monday and Tuesday, hanging on to the cloudy skies and more chances for some scattered showers and storms. So Hopefully everyone enjoyed the sunshine today and continue the dry weather for a Wednesday before we do see more of the showers and storms moving in. <laughs> enjoy. Absolutely, and don't worry, Don and I are always ready for the weekend. If we want to jump ahead, she's Saturday, we're on That's good. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, believe it or not, another year for WVU baseball down the book. That's right, Nick Farrell has a look back at all the ups and downs in tonight's West Virginia Illustrated Report.